everyone. It's Carolyn Zook with C Zook Stitch. Uh, so today I'm going to do an unboxing of my Hearthside Craftworks lap stand. Um, so you won't see my face today, but here's the box. Um, I pulled out the packing slip and the, uh, what is it? The customs information. I just pulled those out. Um, but this is the company I ordered it from. It's called Hearthside Crafts. They are out of Calgary, Alberta. Um, and you can see I got the solid oak lap stand frame. Uh, I ordered, um, I first heard about this company from Caroline from Off the Grid. So I'll link that below. And of course, I'll link their website below. Um, but this box, so I ordered the lap stand and some accessories. So what I'm going to do is show you how it's packaged. I, all I've done is I've um, taken out these documents and cut the tape, but I haven't even um, opened the box yet. So this, we will look at it together. Um, and then I'll set the camera down and unbox everything and uh, walk us through it. Uh, so this is how it came. So I ordered it, when I ordered it, it took about two weeks to, um, get a response and from the company it's just a couple that it's two people I think is all it is maybe their adult children are involved I'm not sure um but she said that for some reason they had all, all the inquiries that they got went into the junk mail this particular time when I emailed and so they were very apologetic and, and all of that which that happens uh, so I you know, it's, it's a little bit, what this company really prides themselves on is getting you what you need. Um, it can be complex just because there's a lot of options. There's a lot of add on accessories. So they really want to make, take time and make sure they're getting you what you will want and what will be most useful for you. So there is a bit of back and forth via email, which I appreciated because I feel like I got what I will really use and what I needed. And not much extra, you know, I didn't feel like, you know, they aren't, you know, trying to sell you something that you don't want. So it is a bit of back and forth, you know, it's definitely not like sh buying something off of Amazon. These are handcrafted. Um, I think his name is John. Oh gosh, I hope I got that right. Helen is the woman I emailed with. I think it's John, um, that, um, actually makes these. And my father has been a woodworker for just as a hobby, uh, my whole life. So I really have an appreciation for how long a, it took him to figure out how to do this. Um, but then to handcraft each piece as well. And they do have floor stands, um, as well as the lap stand and, and other accessories. So let's take a look. Um, so I emailed them. I don't, I, I should have looked up the timing before I did this video, but I didn't. Um, it, it took a while. I mean, it took maybe six weeks total um once it shipped it shipped very quickly it got it got here very quickly i've had this for a couple of weeks um it sat in the p.o box for about a week before i could get there and then i've had it in my house for a couple of weeks before i've had time to actually film this video um okay so oh and the part of the reason why it took so long is because they were out of an accessory piece i ordered so they actually had to make more okay so this is how it's packaged so it has you know the paper Sorry about the crinkling, but this is real life. And then this gives you instructions. So this is what I ordered. So this gives you instructions. And this tells you, so that's an accessory that I ordered. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, lay it all out for you to take a look at, and then I'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have unpackaged everything and kind of laid it out for you to see. Um, so this is what I ordered. This is what comes in the lap stand order. This is the basic uh, unit with none of the add-ons. I'll show you the add-ons or accessories that I bought in a minute. Um, this lap stand was $130 Canadian, um, which I think was around think it's depending on the day it's close to a hundred dollars uh us um and it's all beautifully handmade solid oak it comes with 20 inch scroll rods now 
the default is that they will have stapled on here a piece of webbing for you to baste your fabric onto for stitching. You can request them not to do that uh, and instead purchase uh, Velcro. Um, they have Velcro specifically designed um, for scroll rods and fabric. I have ordered mine from 123 Stitch, currently Hearthside Craftworks do not carry it, they don't prep it, but they can leave these scroll rods blank for you. But just know um, that the default is they will, if you don't tell them not to add anything, or leave anything off, I guess, um, the default is um, to have the webbing on there. So your kit will come with these two side pieces with the various holes so you can adjust accordingly you, this is the lap stand. You can also fit it on a table, hence why the holes are at different sizes. So you have the two legs. It comes with 20 inch scroll rods. So that is what those are. Uh, these are the knobs that go on the side to cover the screws. You see the knob up there, four knobs, knob, knob. This is the, um, what is that piece called? Extender bars? I think it comes with the default is the 10 inch extender bars. Um, and then this is the device, the bolt, and then the, um, I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. The spacers um, are what helps you flip it to the back so that you can finish off a thread and then flip it back around to the front. So it's kind of the bolts have this spring on it. Um, so that's what comes with the kit. This is the $130 Canadian which is about $100 US. I did not think that was bad at all um, for this handmade, handcrafted, um, really uh, heirloom quality piece. Now, in addition to this, and I just went kind of all in <laughs> just to help save on shipping, but um, you can certainly start out with just this and see how you like it. I, um, because I was, I have a chatelaine that I want to do and, you know, I'm going to be starting a hage soon and all of this. I ordered a second set of extender or uh, scroll rods. These are 28 inches. So the ones the kit comes with are 20. These are 28 inches. So these, the 28 inch were $23 Canadian. I'm not sure what that equals out to US. I didn't do that math. I also have a stabilizer bar that I bought. Um, this is for, um, actually these were also the, um, adjustable brackets. This is so you can attach a Q snap. So I have a, a 11 by 17 that I'm working my Harbor Haven on right now. Um, and I can hold it okay, but if the lap stand can hold it for me even better. And so these devices, um, with the extender bar allows you to attach your, uh, Q snap to the lap stand frame um, and this extender bar or I guess this is a stabilizer bar helps to stabilize it so I got that as well and these pieces were the pieces that they were um, didn't have any more made so um, that held up my order because he had to make some more in addition I got a longer size I got the 12 in 12 inch extender bars um, so really what I have here is I could have two complete sets um, on scroll rods, two projects in progress on scroll rods uh, without having to take them off the actual scroll rods to change out in between. I would just have to take it off the lap stand and put the second set on. Um, so in total, um, my total bill, and this includes shipping was about $28.5 Canadian. There was a $5 because uh, for five dollars charged for the packaging, which is fine. Um, so my total bill was two hundred and seventy dollars and fifty two cents Canadian. That equaled out to about two hundred dollars total, including shipping for all of this, which I think is very reasonable. Um, like I said, you could just start with this kit. This is the the just the lap stand that you get all of that with just the lap stand, um, and see if you like it for around a hundred dollars. Um, and I really do love that it's a little mom and pop shop um, that they hand make everything. That's really special to me because my father is um, 
a woodworker as well. And to come up with this design, I mean, this must have taken so much trial and error and figuring out of how to make this um, work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put together the lap stand. Uh, I'm gonna put it all together and I will come back and show you how it works. Be back in a second. Okay, so I came back. Clearly it's not put together yet um, because I think um, I wanna show you just a couple tips on how to put this together as I figure it out. Um, they do send a sheet of instructions. I have never used the lap stand or scroll uh, scroll frames before so I'm figuring this out and I thought that maybe it would be helpful for you to um, See if you've never if you're not familiar with kind of the anatomy of a scroll frame So the first step it says is to place the extender bar on the carriage bolt. So this is the extender bar I'm going to start with the 10 inch This is the bolt you have to take off the wing nut And you take off I'm doing this one-handed you take off, I'm pretty sure you take off the springs and stuff. And then you put this through, it screws on. So I'm gonna screw that on and then come back. Okay, I have it screwed on like this. Um, and now the next step is to put the grooved circular spacer bar, or grooved circular spacer, that's this. Do you see the cutout? onto here and you can see it fits. So this groove cut out here matches up exactly. And so you put that on where the bolt is. And so see, just like that, easy. Next step is to put this spacer with the peg. Do you see that peg there? You wanna put that on with the wooden pin onto the bolt. The two flat surfaces of the spacers face each other which means they go like this. All right, so that's how it looks so far, guys. So this will be the inside, and this is the outside that will attach to the legs of the um, stand. All right, I'm gonna figure out the next step and I'll be back. Okay, so the next step then, so what this peg does, you insert the bolt here, so here's the leg stand, and you insert it like this at whatever height you want it. And this peg here goes into one of the holes as a stabilizing um, mechanism. Um, so if I want it here, I put the bolt in and do you see how that peg will line up and it will go into that hole just like that, okay? I actually think I want it at the highest level I might regret this later. So I'm gonna put it in here and this uh, peg just flips around. So I'm gonna put it in the one, the hole right below where I have the bolt. So I have this set up like this. Now I'm gonna put on the washer, the spring, the washer, and the wing nut. And it says in the instructions, to turn the wing nut clockwise and tighten until two or three threads of the bolt show on the outer side of the wing nut. You don't want them to be too loose. Um, so, oops, I'm out of frame there. It's not focusing. There. So that's about two or three it looks like. So I will stop there and I can always adjust it later if I need to. So I'm gonna do this to the other side and I will be back. Guys, look, look what I have. It's a lab stand frame and it's so smooth. It turns so easily and smoothly. It was easy to put together. I just followed the instructions. And if you just read the instructions and do what the instructions say, it's easy. Um, so this is my setup for right now. Um, I might uh, go ahead and play with the stabilizer bar and the adjustable brackets because currently what I'm working on is a cat. <laughs> currently what I'm working on is Harbor Haven, which is on QSnap. So I might take this apart and um, take a look at how to set this up with a QSnap and I will be back. Okay. Well, I got it set up. So this is the stabilizer bar up here with the adjustable brackets here and here. 
did take a little bit for me to figure it out, but that's probably just me. <laughs> so this is 11 by 17 Q snap. You can get the extender bar in different sizes. So if I don't know if they make Q snaps longer than that, but um, this is uh, my my stabilizer bar is 22 inches. Um, so it's pretty much perfect. Um, it is stable. Um, so what I did is I took off the scroll rods. So you can see there's no more scroll rods. I put the stabilizer bar at the top. I think that's correct. There weren't really clear instructions on how to do this. So I kind of figured it out. Um, so if somebody knows a better way, let me know. And then I put, there, it comes with these two adjustable brackets, one there, one there, and it flips over to the back. So you can end your thread, flip back around. Um, and yeah, it's looking good. And there's, um, here's a little preview, uh, for when my next floss tube in a couple of weeks comes up. I finished scene three on Harbor Haven and I'm on to scene four. Scene four starts kind of right here and is working forward. So I've got a little bit done and scene three is all done. Uh, so this is Hearthside Craftworks lap stand. They do have two types of floor stands and lots of accessories. Um, this is not in any way a sponsored video. I don't even think they know I exist other than the order I placed. Um, the quality is just, I mean, it really, they say on their website, it's heirloom quality and it really is. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I'm very excited to get stitching with it and how uh, versatile this is uh, for different types of projects. Um, so I hope, I hope you found this helpful. I hope you found the putting together helpful. Um, if you do look into it or are looking for a lap stand, this can also be a table stand. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this helpful and I will catch up with you in a couple weeks after my trip to Minnesota, uh, for a regular floss tube. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.